how you doing everybody welcome welcome to the channel thanks for joining me um this is my official introduction to the vc even though i've considered myself a member for quite some time <laughs> i have a i have a podcast that i do it's mostly food and comedy and i just throw in my vinyl in there just random <laughs> so i figured it's time to start investing into this channel and you know doing more vinyl videos but anyhow here i am uh thanks for joining me um i figure i figure you know what better way to introduce myself than to do this list that everyone's doing uh all my favorite channels are doing it so i figure you know i'm gonna do one too 10 records that i listen to the most or ak uh, records that i play the out of all right uh starting with this one uh, here we go. This is uh, Crown Bin. All right. Uh, the album is Mordecai. Uh, this is a cool, cool record. This is a trio from uh, from Texas. Um, their music is kind of, um, I don't know, it's like lo-fi, you know, guitar uh, rock with a little soul into it. Um, it can get a little psychedelic to um, Laura Lee, the bassist. Real cool. You gotta you gotta watch this band. You gotta listen to this band, and then you gotta watch this band just to check out Laura Lee uh, on bass. Anyways, uh, great band, Mordecai. I listen to this all the time. So uh, just chill. Really cool music. Uh, next one would be what? What do I have? I have these behind my back. Sorry. Oh yeah, I mean Sticky Fingers. I mean I I play this all the time. This is the Stones. This is my favorite Stones record. All right. It's got everything. It's got the big giant hit. It's got, you know, uh, attitude. It's got this great, it's got my favorite Stones track, Can't You Hear Me Knocking. All right. Amazing song. Uh, great record. This is an original um, Monarch pressing, you know, with the zipper still intact and the, you know, belt buckle there. And uh, I won't show the rest. You guys all have a copy of this i'm sure but i play the hell out of this this is my favorite stones record uh sticky fingers all right next one oh yeah man gets gilberto um it's stan gets and joao gilberto their their fantastic um album from 1964 all right this is the analog productions copy i actually have <laughs> I have an original here, just to show you how like obsessive and dorky I am. I have uh, an original here from 1964. It still has the shrink wrap and the uh, price tag of $349. All right, it's in great condition, but I like to play this one instead. This is the Analog Productions copy. Really, really cool uh, copy. It sounds amazing. Let me show you that gatefold. And even the work that they do on this is um, top notch. You guys all know. Acoustic sounds, um, the analog productions copy of Getz Gilberto. Play it all the time. What's next here? Oh, yeah, another album I have two copies of uh, Night and Day, um, Joe Jackson. I play this all the time. It's not even in here. All right. It's on my, it's on my player right now. Uh, this is a Japanese copy. I bought an American copy at my local record store over here in uh, Pico Rivera, Sanford's Vintage. Shout out to them. Uh, I found a copy. It looked clean, looked shiny and brand new, but I mean, I didn't hold it up like that because it was warped. Uh, no wonder it cost two bucks. But anyways, I fixed the warp. It plays fine now, but I still have this copy. This is the one I play the most. Uh, sounds great. Still really haven't done like a comparison between the two. This definitely has more of a flat, like mono sound. But then when it gets to stepping out, you know, it like really cranks up, you know, the bass kicks in. And who doesn't love that song, man? Here we go. Joe Jackson, stepping out. Records that I play the most. Coming up next, another Analog Productions record. The Doors, L.A. Woman. This is the one I play for Friends when they don't really you know maybe care for vinyl or anything uh audiophile uh ish 
I'll say, you know, I'm going to play this and you tell me if it sounds like the same old thing you hear on the radio or if this is a brand new experience. And they're always blown away. They say the same thing. Sounds like Jim is in the room. Anyways, yeah, I'll play this all the time. L.A. Woman just puts me in a good mood. And uh, so does this album. L.A. Woman, uh, moving on. What's next? What do I have here? Oh, yeah, man. X, Wild Gift. Okay. Um, you know, their first album, uh, Los Angeles, might be a better album. <laughs> but I play this one more. Uh, I just like the, the energy throughout the entire album from beginning to end. And this one has White Girl on it okay besides los angeles i think white girl is x's masterpiece of a song great great song dark weird kind of tragic and it has you know xine and john's weird harmonies that i love uh slash records of course x wild gift i play the shit out of it and let's see what's next what's next what do i have here oh yeah man I play the heck out of this all the time, you know, um, Nielsen Schmilson. This is um, a masterpiece. What, what else can I say? I mean, you guys know all about this is the, the, the MoFi copy. I've heard some things that, you know, some people don't like the way they, they mix this. It, it sounds just fine to me. And um, man, I just, I love this record. I just, there, I'll leave it at that. Next, B-52s. Wild Planet. This is a fun record. Throw it on. Instant party. All right. Uh, puts me in a good mood. This is a super clean copy. Uh, Jacksonville pressing. Really, really clean. And the cover is, um, well, it's got a little... Actually, that's not even... No, nah, man, it's clean. Yeah, it's got a little wear right here. But um, anyways, original sleeve and all that good stuff right and yes i store all my records like this you know brand new sleeve here and record goes in its own sleeve all the time anyways moving on uh we're almost done here next one oh yeah the smiths the truth is uh any smiths album could have made this list i play the hell out of them all the time i just chose louder than bombs uh, if you want an introduction to the Smiths, I think this is it. It's a compilation. Um, what can I say, man? Johnny Marr, uh, Morrissey. I was at the, you know, the concert at the Hollywood Bowl last year when Morrissey walked out. And we're, you know, always putting up with this shit. And just, you know, coming back <laughs> and saying, can't wait to see you again. You know what? There are times when I can separate, you know, the the art from the artist. Uh, we all know Morrissey's a wanker and a total douchebag. But you know what? Thank you for the music. And last but not least, what do I have here? Oh, yeah, man. Mac DeMarco. I love Mac DeMarco. Love, love Mac DeMarco. All right. This is uh, Salad Days. All right, who the hell is he? I mean, I don't know. He's folk, he's lo-fi, he's jazz, he's groovy, he's Canadian. And like all Canadians, he's, you know, warm and friendly. And his music is kind of warm and friendly, too. Uh, he's also got like a great sense of humor. And I mean, I've got all his albums, but um, Salad Days is the one I play uh, a lot. There's a lot of just sweet songs on here, and uh, I like his uh, kind of raspy voice and all that. Anyways, there it is, guys. There's my list. There's my video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you tune in again for my next one, and uh, I'll be seeing you around.